happy Thursday. I hope all of you are doing okay. Thank you uh, for those of you who joined us last night, either here in person or um, virtually for our Ash Wednesday service. It's always a very somber, reflective, um, just kind of taking a pause in the hecticness of our day. Um, just kind of spend some time setting ourselves up for Lent and for Easter. Uh, we will have a Good Friday service, the Friday before Easter, and we'll give you more information about that. Um, if you know me, you know that I kind of tend to play with words, hopefully not in a irresponsible way where I make them mean what I want them to mean. But I think sometimes we say things and we use words, um, but we really don't know what we mean and we really couldn't define uh, what we were trying to say if we were pushed. I'm being forced to do that right now with the message coming up on Sunday. Our series is Leap of Faith. And uh, the Sunday we're talking about distractions. I think the problem with distractions is they tend to be things that we think about that draw our attention away, like our phones, um, somebody who interrupts us while we work. If you have kids, they're always distracting you. We think of distractions kind of on a superficial level, and we just think about our constant bombardment of things around us and input as distractions. Uh, when we talk this Sunday, we're going to talk about more significant things in our life than just the constant hum and things around us that are drawing our attention. Like the garbage being picked up today. I think I'm, I'm leaning more toward the word disruption. I had a conversation recently with someone who not necessarily was humming along in their in their Christian faith, but had <clears throat> a couple of very significant events happen that have caused them to really wrestle with some really big, deep, meaty questions. Who is God? Well, how do I relate to, to God? Well, what do I do with things in my faith that question what I thought I believed in? Those are the distractions that I'm talking about, and they usually call, come from life events a loss, um, losing a job, having to move, a broken friendship or relationship, that you were kind of humming along. I mean, there are all these little things going on, but there's the, this giant thing that completely derails this path that you were on. It distracts you, uh, but it really is a disruption. And so the, the playing with the words is addressing that thing that knocked you off track, and then your reaction to it. It's like the difference between struggle and suffering. Um, you're going to struggle, life is hard, but you don't necessarily have to suffer. It's how you hold that thing that you're going through. And so uh, a disruption and distraction are virtually the same thing. There are gonna be things that happen in your life that just obliterate this nice little smooth path that you're on. But is it going to become a distraction? That's up to you. And so that's what we're going to talk about this Sunday is when those things happen in our life when we take our leap of faith and then we find ourselves struggling in that place or finding ourselves pushed out of that place, then what do we do? And so hopefully this will be real helpful and some insight to give you some groundedness in that disruption or that distraction that you're facing. I always say this, we have a lot going on. Uh, our women's Bible study, we have Grief Share. I will say this over and over again, it is not too late to join Grief Share. Um, each one of the topics is freestanding. There is a kind of a flow, but if you feel the tug to come and you haven't, you haven't come for the first few, you can still attend Grief Share every Monday night at 6.30. We are collecting for the Branches of Hope Warming Center. It's a place for people who find themselves unhoused. We have a list available in the lobby, and we'll make that list available online if you wanna, if you wanna give to that, or if you just wanna donate to that, um, you can designate your giving to that. The roof is virtually finished. We're in the process of picking paint and getting the ceiling tiles replaced, and this place will be hopefully up and running again very soon. We have a lot of new kids coming. We're excited about what's happening. 
Which reminds me, one last thing. I am all over the place this morning. It's almost like I'm distracted. February 25th, a week from this Sunday, we're gonna have baptism. We've got three people being baptized so far. If you are interested, um, let us know, contact us, and we will make sure that you get the information that you need. So, I need to get back at what I was doing and then move into the rest of the day. So, may you be focused this week, um, and we'll see you Sunday. Take care.